Hi, my name is Pamela Coons, Associate Professor of Medicine in the Division of Oncology at Yale School of Medicine and Yale Cancer Center. I'm excited to announce ASCO's new open access journal, JCO Oncology Advances. As the inaugural editor-in-chief, I hope to support JCO Oncology Advances to become the premier platform to bridge the gap between accessible scientific research and clinical care. Stay tuned for more information, including new article types, at ascopubs.org forward slash JCO Oncology Advances. We look forward to seeing your submissions in spring of 2024. This JCO podcast provides observations and commentary on the JCO article, The Economic Burden of Chronic Conditions Among Cancer Survivors in the United States by Guy and colleagues. My name is Dr. Joseph Unger, and I am a faculty member at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center in Seattle, Washington, USA. My oncologic specialty is biostatistics and health services research. The number of cancer survivors is increasing. In 2016, there were more than 15 million cancer survivors in the United States. By 2026, this number is expected to exceed 20 million. Because most cancer patients, about two out of every three, are 65 years or older, cancer patients will typically have one or more chronic conditions in addition to their cancer diagnosis. However, limited information exists on the economic burden of chronic conditions in cancer survivors. This study examines the prevalence and economic effect of chronic conditions in cancer survivors. To examine this, the authors used data from the Medical Expenditure Panel Survey. The data from this survey can be used to derive nationally representative estimates of the prevalence of chronic conditions for patients who report having cancer. Also, the Medical Expenditure Panel Survey data provide information on demographic characteristics, health status, health insurance, health care utilization and expenditures, and employment. Using this data set, the investigators identified 10,293 adults who reported having cancer between 2008 and 2013. They compared these patients to 135,151 adults without cancer. The prevalence of a series of chronic conditions were determined from interview questions about arthritis, asthma, diabetes, emphysema, heart disease, high blood pressure, stroke, and high cholesterol. The authors also added up the number of unique chronic conditions for each individual. The authors examine the relationship between these outcomes, the patient's cancer status, and both health care utilization and medical expenditures, as well as productivity loss, using statistical regression techniques that controlled for important demographic factors and education. They found that cancer survivors were much more likely to be older, a result that is consistent with prior observations reported in the literature. As a result, cancer survivors were more likely to have chronic conditions compared to adults without a history of cancer, even after adjusting for age differences between the two groups. For instance, in adjusted analyses, 13% of cancer survivors had four or more chronic conditions, compared to 9% of patients without cancer. Having a chronic condition was associated with increased health care utilization in cancer survivors. Cancer survivors with four or more chronic conditions had 50 more prescriptions per year, on average, than cancer survivors with no chronic conditions. Having a chronic condition was also associated with higher medical expenditures. Annual medical care costs were more than $10,000 higher among cancer survivors with four or more chronic conditions than among cancer survivors with no chronic conditions. Finally, the presence of chronic conditions was associated with more productivity loss in cancer survivors. Cancer survivors with four or more chronic conditions reported more than seven missed workdays per year more than cancer survivors with no chronic conditions and had productivity loss of more than $9,000 more on average. Importantly, the authors found that the increased healthcare utilization financial burden, and productivity loss due to chronic conditions was similar between those with and without cancer. 
But since cancer patients are older on average, the burden of accompanying chronic conditions is high in this group. These findings have some important implications. They are the first to document the cost associated with lost productivity due to increased chronic conditions in cancer patients. These costs were attributable to employment disability, missed work days, and days spent in bed due to poor health. One tool to address this problem would be workplace wellness programs, which are effective for promoting health behaviors and improving health outcomes. Such programs are typically underutilized, even though they provide a positive return on investment. Moreover, cancer survivors with chronic conditions had increased health care utilization and medical expenditures, highlighting the importance of ongoing efforts to improve survivorship care planning to minimize the negative effects of chronic conditions. Recent changes to health care regulations through the Affordable Care Act, or ACA, enabled many cancer patients with chronic conditions to access health insurance. Prior to the implementation of the ACA, many cancer patients, especially those with chronic conditions, would have been unable to access health care due to restrictions on pre-existing conditions and the exorbitant costs associated with caring for those conditions. Thus, for policymakers, the findings from this study highlight the importance of continued access to affordable care for patients, especially in light of their disease burden. The notion of care coordination will be particularly meaningful in cancer patients with multiple chronic conditions. In this context, the ACA has accelerated efforts to coordinate and manage care for people with multiple chronic conditions through models such as accountable care organizations and patient-centered medical homes. As one example, the ACA established a Medicaid health home plan that states can use to establish health homes for people with multiple chronic conditions with the goal of improving care coordination and reducing costs among populations most in need. Taken together, Guy and colleagues have shown that chronic conditions are common among cancer survivors and are associated with increased medical expenditures and lost productivity. Programs that emphasize lifelong personalized screening, surveillance, and chronic disease self-management that have been shown to be effective in other settings should be studied for potential adoption in cancer patients as well, given the burden of illness in this population. Such efforts may be effective in managing chronic conditions, reducing medical expenditures, and minimizing disruptions in employment for cancer survivors. This concludes this JCO podcast. Thank you for listening. For more original research, editorials, and review articles, please visit us online at jco.org. This production is copyrighted to the American Society of Clinical Oncology. Thank you for listening.